staff position for the other main surgeon here, uh, also located in the Mass Ave, uh, North Carolina. Um, I entered the community practitioner program uh, right after residency in 2002, fulfilled a five year obligation in that uh, program, and then uh, re entered the program uh, as an innovative practice in 2008. Um, I want to start out by telling you that at the Outer Bank, Bank Surgeon Care, uh, we treat everyone for almost everyone, and that has been our motto uh, since the day we opened. And uh, in order to highlight that, uh, I wanted to I, uh, organize today's program uh, so that I could highlight uh, the unique aspects. Uh, that's the overview. Yeah, I organized today's program uh, in a manner that would uh, highlight the unique aspect, aspects of the urgent care, the service that we provide to the immediate community and to other areas of the other banks, um, and how we affiliate ourselves with healthcare organizations that are beyond the outer banks geography. Also, I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about what, uh, what's in the future for our urgent care and for myself. And then lastly, I guess most importantly, what uh, impact has being in both programs made uh, for the medical facility I work in and for the community uh, that I work in and live in as well. So the Outer Bank Surgeon Care um, offers comprehensive health care all under one roof. And uh, we do that by being uh, certified through the insurance companies both as a family practice and urgent care. So we uh, offer preventive care and uh, treatment for chronic illnesses, also mental health, and some pain management as well, all by appointment. And then on the urgent care side of our uh, facility, we treat all of the usual front or usual acute illnesses uh, that come through the door on a walk-in basis. And by virtue of that, we are uh, absolutely an open access facility. We're open 362 days a year. We're open seven days a week, and we open very early at 7.30 in the morning, and we don't close until 6.30 in the evening. Uh, we also have a weight loss program and by uh, utilizing nutritional counseling and exercise instruction and also um, traditional medicine, we're able to facilitate the weight loss for uh, the patients who are suffering from a lot of chronic illnesses uh, that are due to obesity. The staff in our weight loss program includes our nurses, a registered dietitian, a personal trainer, our mid-level providers, and then myself as the overseeing physician for their care. Um, we also are a uh, multidisciplinary facility in that on the second floor of our facility we rent space to a variety of other providers. And so we offer physical therapy upstairs, complementary and alternative medicine as well. And uh, through the years, the last five or six years, we have rented space to a variety of clinicians who provide acupuncture, uh, massage therapy, uh, hypnotherapy, and kinesiology. And then most of the patients that are being seen are being, by those providers are being seen really as an adjunct to the care that we give. And they're usually being seen for chronic illnesses such as chronic pain, a lot of mood disorders, anxiety, depression, panic attacks, post-traumatic stress disorder. And then we've had a, a, really a lot of good success with the utilization of hypnotherapy and smoking cessation. I also wanted to point out that all of our clinical staff is BLS, ACLS, and PAL certified, and that includes uh, our LPNs, our RNs, uh, all of our middle level providers, and our two physicians. Okay, so you said down and forward. Down and forward. There we go. 
All right. So how do we provide service to the immediate community beyond the uniqueness of our practice? So once a year, we provide physical exams at no charge to some of the organizations that are public service oriented. And that would include uh, those such as the Boy Scouts of America and Ocean Rescue. We also provide discounted health care to any patient who self pay. Uh, the ability for, uh, for me to be able to speak Spanish to my patients uh, has, has really allowed the urgent care to serve as an access point for the patients in our community that are non-English speaking. And uh, being the only medical review officer in a 65 mile radius of our facility, uh, again, makes me the point of contact for appropriate uh, interpretation of urine drug screens that are mandated by a lot of the local businesses and uh, the United States Coast Guard, as well as a lot of the DOT affiliated organizations. The uh, Air County Schools uh, has a program, I think Dr. Ruggay is part of that program, he mentioned it as well. It's a program for high school students that are interested in pursuing careers in, uh, in health sciences. And so we served as, as a, um, I guess a test site or a shadow site for that program for the school district. And then I've served as a volunteer camp position for the Boy Scouts of America uh, in Dayton, Dare County for the last five consecutive years. Okay, well, how do we provide service to other areas of the Outer Banks? And um, on the, the first and um, I guess still remaining volunteer position at the Community Care Clinic of Dare, which is uh, our county's free clinic, the doors opened up in 2005, and I also serve as the supervising physician for the mid-level providers who are employed there. And without that supervision, uh, the clinic would not would be pretty limited in its ability to serve the community. I'm also serving as the supervising physician for the uh, family nurse practitioner at the Oak Oak Health Center and the medical director at Two Dreams Outer Banks, which is a rehabilitation center for addiction. They treat uh, any sort of addiction, but mainly to alcohol and drugs. Uh, prescription drug abuse is currently the fastest growing healthcare problem in Dare County. And, uh, or I should say, but fortunately, some of our uh, local community members have been able to benefit from that rehab program through its scholarship uh, organization, its scholarship program. Uh, the last bullet, probably should just compartment it up with the third one. This was a weekend-long seminar which was devoted to increasing the awareness in the community to prescription drug abuse, and I served on the advisory committee.